doing some uh, thumb hole work here. And you know Barnes is well aware of the situation. He knows exactly what's going on. Eight pair down from him. You bet. He was pacing and doing the math, and he knows he's he knows absolutely exactly. has to have this. He's on a turkey. Eighth frame. Barnes and O'Neill trying to jump Valenta into the show at the U.S. Open. We've got O'Neill going at the exact same time right now. You guys get Chris. I'll get O'Neill for everybody. <laughs> You'll hear O'Neill. And they both struck everybody simultaneously. Simultaneously striking. What's the pin difference between these two? Down the, the pin draw? difference between O'Neill and Barnes is 11 pins right now. Currently, which sets up the possibility. No, no, of no, I'm talking about overall score. 93, 23 in the sixth. 249 or 239 Barnes, over here. Barnes is up four in right. the scratch score, but down 11. Correct. So he's down seven overall. Who will go first? Looks Brian like Barnes up first. And Brian Valenta missed in the eighth frame as well, guys. So that puts him in a max score of 182. So just like we said. Billy's going into the tenth. Barnes shooting in the ninth right now. Barnes is going to know what he needs if he gets this hit. Oh, dead pure for Barnes trying to jump into the show. Now O'Neill, side-by-side action. Greatest bowlers in the world performing as we expect them to. Oh, God, hook, Bill. So now advantage Barnes. Advantage Barnes, 216 possible for O'Neill with a very difficult spare on this demanding wing condition in the 10th frame. <laughs> Bill did not want to go high on that left lane again, Mike J. Over in the uh, match to determine the tournament leader, Norm Duke has a lead there. Jones has got to win by 11 to jump past Duke for the tournament lead and seat himself in the championship match. Spare attempt from O'Neill. Big spare, Bill. Let's set this up, guys. Bill O'Neill with a strike on the fill bowl will be 216 and 30 pins is 46. I'm sure the three-minute man has already got this written down. Four, six, 46 pins puts Bill at plus 849. If Chris Barnes were to go nine spare strike in the tenth, he would be 222 and 52. That would not be enough. This means that Barnes needs the first hit in the tenth frame. 50 games over five days, and it comes down to one shot. Barnes checking out the O'Neill scoreboard. He knows the situation. Okay. So Barnes will have to shoot 228 to tie, 229 to make the show. 243 possible score, working on a five bagger going into the tenth. A strike, good count on the second ball. And Chris Barnes will be your sixth seed for the U.S. Open Championship. And Chris Barnes jump out of ninth to jump into the top six. We will find out live on extra frame as Chris Barnes paces it off, getting ready for the tenth. Brash is finishing up first and getting out of the way. He'll have a fill ball, and then Chris Barnes will walk back and deliver the biggest shot here this week. What do you think is going through his mind right now, Mike Judge? Just looking at his expressions. Knowing Chris, and his pacing. knowing Chris, he's stepping off the shot mentally. He's playing in his head what he wants to do. And he's just playing it over in his head so that when he gets on the lane, he'll just let it happen. You know, uh, Bo Burton used to say, uh, this is what separates the pretenders from the real thing. Uh, we already know Barnes is the real thing, but to watch them do it time and time again is pretty special. He must strike he on must the first strike shot. He must strike on the first shot. Everybody wants to see what Chris Barnes does in these situations, and now you're going to see it. Will he strike to jump from ninth to sixth to make this show? 13-time titleist, triple crown winner, Chris Barnes bidding for television. If he gets this strike, you'll see him tonight live on ESPN2. Barnes on a five-bagger must strike 10th frame. Taking a little extra time here, guys, gathering his thoughts. 
looking at that break point. He's ready. All we can do is watch at this point. We got two good camera angles. We got one from the back. We'll show you ball reaction and one a close up we're on with Barnes. We'll give you his reaction. Absolutely dead pured it in the ninth. Now Barnes steps up in the 10th. For the US Open show. Needs them all. Feel the heart beating, Doc. <laughs> Guys, I hate to say this, but Barnes hit a period <laughs> where when he balked, every shot was pure directly <laughs> after it. Lately, when I've seen him balk, it's a two-pin. Gets a little fast at the bottom. I don't, let's see which one is going to come out. We're going to reset and do this all over again now. He likes it. No! Ten pin! No! Bill O'Neill is the number six seed for the United States Open 68th edition at Brunswick Zone, Carolier Lanes. Not quite a full ringing ten. It was a half. Half ten. Little fast. Mm. Still an excellent shot with that amount of pressure. No. Wow, this is why that 799 for extra frame, if you're just joining us, that man, Bill O'Neill, will get a chance to defend his title. You'll see it live on ESPN2 tonight, live, 10 Eastern time. That Unbelievable, incredible. Doc, again, position around at the U.S. Open delivers. Incredible, Mike J. Every time it comes down to the last ball, absolutely amazing. And O'Neill... Such a story. He was at the top of the leaderboard. He was lost. He was lost. He couldn't find his yep. bowling ball with both hands. And he found the opportunity to get back into this show, and he'll have the opportunity to defend his title. Yes, he will. And he could very well climb the ladder and back-to-back -back championships here for the U.S. Open for Bill O'Neill. Doctor, we got an eye on the Duke and Jones matchup battle for the lead. Uh, let's see. Let's get further on. And the crowd here in uh, North Brunswick, New Jersey, is showing their appreciation for, for Chris Barnes' wonderful run today. Great champion. But um, I think it's safe to say that their, uh, their favorite will, will be competing tonight at 10 p.m. class of Chris Barnes going up and congratulating Bill O'Neill. Absolutely. We'll be handing out Thanks, Jeff. Uh, with Bill O'Neill, uh, unbelievable support evening. from the hometown like fans here. Uh, yeah, this is uh, it's pretty special uh, to have all these people here, and to uh, you know, I threw a bad shot there in the tenth, but it, you know, it was able to be enough. And um, it's just, it's been a really tough month for me and my family. So uh, I'm sorry. If, this is something if you have really special. Or if you don't Talk have to me ticket. about Either today. Way, uh, there was a time where you kind of disappeared from the leaderboard. What did you find to get back into contention? Well, um, Tommy Jones is bowling really well, so I tried to kind of play the lanes the, the way he was playing them, and I just I couldn't do it, and I just went backwards really quickly, and then uh, I, I had to have a little do or die attitude there. And, um, Sean was playing to the right, and he was bowling good, and it's something I should have done from the, from the morning on, um, and just just found something and, and you know bowled well enough to, to get there. And you're going to get a chance to do something that not a lot of people do, uh, a chance to defend your U.S. Open title. It begins here tonight, live on ESPN2 at 10 o'clock. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's going to be pretty pretty difficult, you know, being the sixth man and the sixth man step out. Obviously, it's, it's a lot of matches, but I'm still in it, and uh, obviously, as you can see tonight, I don't quit, so... Uh, we just got to take it one game at a time. Well, we're very sorry to hear about the family situation, but I think you're going to have a lot of friends and yeah. family helping you out tonight. Oh, there's going to be a few people there. It's going to be pretty rowdy. That's Bill O'Neill, defending U.S. Open champion. He'll bowl live tonight, 10 p.m., in the opening match on ESPN2. Bowling Doctor, back to you.